So my name is Corey Mose. I'm one of the sports anchors at KVU, and I'm here to announce the athlete of the week for Abacus, and that award is going to go to Atlee Olafson. Yeah! Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Crazy week last week. Mm -hmm. uh, Y'all were able to shut out Round Rock, who they scored 10 goals in two separate games this year, but they didn't score any against y'all. How the heck did that happen? Um, I really think it was just because we had such lockdown defense. I mean, they made my life so easy in the goal. Um, everybody in the midfield kept tracking back, marking their runners, and we just were super prepared for this game, just going into it, knowing, um, watching film, like, through our previous games, and, like, markup runners here, track runners here, make sure we're, like, goal side on corner kicks and free kicks and all of that, and I think that really helped us just with the mindset of going into this game as well. Notre Dame commit, heading there pretty soon. Uh, why Notre Dame? Uh, why not Notre Dame, you know? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I mean, it's like the best place ever. Um, like seriously, it's the best thing ever. I just, it's the most perfect place ever. Like I literally cannot stop talking about it. Like if we were sitting down, I could talk about it for an hour, just like how perfect and fitting it is for me. And um, I just cannot be more excited to go. And I can sense the excitement. You're ready to go, but you didn't go early. Yeah. Why not go early? Well, it's because of them. Like I could not leave them, you know? Like they're like my best friends ever. And um, I definitely, we had kind of had a revenge tour at least from last season too. Like obviously we got knocked out first round, but I just, it wasn't even a question in my mind of whether I going to go early just because, I mean, Fram and the team just mean so much to me, I wouldn't leave early. Yeah, and Coach described your leadership. He said that uh, you knock out his pregame speeches all the time. And so <laughs> where does that leadership capabilities come from? Um, I don't know. I don't know, really. I mean, I just kind of say what's on my mind. Nothing is ever really planned. I just kind of wing it. Um, but I just am so passionate about the team and about the game, and so I think that really helps as well. And the passion with the team, what does the team mean to you? Like everything. Like I said, like I cannot take credit for anything. It, it is all of them, seriously. Um, just getting in front of shots, you know, always being open-minded, and obviously, like, sometimes when I'm talking to them, it's going to come off as, like, why are you yelling at me? But it's not personal in any way, and, like, everyone knows that, and we just work so freaking hard for each other all the time. I mean, it's so hot out here, and we're out here again, you know? They really do mean the world, and we, like, work for, so hard for each other all the time, so. Yeah. Uh, you're inspiring me right now, okay. the, <laughs> all the passion. But congratulations Thank on the you. award. One more time for Atlee, please.